and with apologies um i'm very sorry we lost the stream uh, the whole thing has been lost um i just wanted to say I, i've no idea why why it happened let's just call it technical difficulties these things happen a a clean version of what we recorded at tom's forge on saturday is available on youtube so you can watch the whole thing the whole two and three quarter hours on youtube now what i can do is and apologies again as i say we lost it i've no idea why that happened um what i can try to do right now because i've lost the video as well um is i can try to play the youtube video from where we left off and hopefully um I'm going to try and do this here now just have to try and find out where we left off we left off where uh tom was about to hand over to me uh, just hang on till i find this now for a second apologies folks technical difficulties have brought the live stream to a crashing end but it wasn't finished and uh, we are going to uh we are going to try and pick pick up where we left off uh, it might be slightly different in sound um but we'll see now here now just trying to get to the bit where tom kind of said would you like to just to assume it is hot mm. because instinctively you can tell yeah apologies about that don't grasp it last bit too tom and jerry moment you know. <laughs> but as i say the entire video is available on youtube now tapping, you can but watch i'm hitting it. it at the 11 o'clock position what i'm going to do here is sorry, it there. The volume i will get the second. roll of the scroll nice and i'm, I'm going to try and pick it up like I'm nearly there, where we more, left off so if you give me a second i will share that second screen there's never a dull day at the forge yes always i hope share hopefully you'll be able to see this now and he makes it look simple well it's practice Practice. It's practice, but it's also skill. It's practice, you know? So hopefully you can hear that. that I have to leave my microphone on now for you to hear that. Hands, you know? Well, everybody has this, but it just takes more development. It takes more. So development. Tom's finished it's, it's Swan. Like you, um, a script of Chinese characters. Joan, and you look at and say, I don't it, it isn't finished yet. Music. We finished yet both Swans at the very end of the video. So don't worry, you haven't missed that bit. Then you know what it means. So there, your learning has started. You've begun the process of decoding all that, and now it makes sense. But it takes effort. It has to take effort. Want to stay in the season again all i'm doing is tapping i'm, I'm going at that 11 o'clock position there if you're going to use the clock as a reference just to tap it ever so slightly forward so we can create that scroll okay have if, it nice let me know can you hear it now so that's all what sorry I'm sorry I'm about the technical hitches so now i'm not into rework or correcting i'm traveling forward and being as efficient as i can 
and I'm happy with that. Now, would you like it a little bit bigger? What do you think? Yeah. Yay. Bigger, Thanks, John. Okay, I'll shut up yeah. now. And I have to keep the little mini me, mini me, mini me <laughs> at the side in order for you to hear the sound which is coming through the speakers. It's not ideal, but you get to see me making a fool of myself. Thanks, John. And Daisy. What you can't see on the camera is the lovely view of the trees. We're out in the wilds of Mead. Yes. Only the birds for company. <laughs> it's lovely. I've seen robins. The robins are. There's a lot of robins around. Uh, yes. And I've seen a wren. Right. I've okay. seen lots of blue tits. Uh, crows. Yep. Pigeons. And sparrow hawk. Oh, we saw the sparrow hawk yeah. earlier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And of course, there are buzzards in the woods as well. There are, yes, yes, yes. They're 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 magnificent birds. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. This was all great fun. We had such a wonderful day. About to cut the flakes off the steel there. I was out with Tom for seven hours on Saturday. John McHugh, <laughs> it's still here. <laughs> seven hours, seven wonderful I'm hours. Slightly daunted by the prospect of doing this. Not a bit of it. Confidence, my good friend. <laughs> yes. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Spent the whole rest of the weekend editing the video. Oh, huge amount of footage. But uh, yeah, and it's a very wonderful to have it because I've got a lot of body now in my scroll, so I'm quite happy with that. Look at the master of work. Wait, wait, you see how show. many times. But I'm not doing any board. It I'm takes me. <laughs> uh, John wants to know what the what temperature of the fire yeah. was. Um, yeah, what I'd like to I think do Tom is told me from to sixteen to seventeen hundred degrees Celsius. This one. Okay. Yeah. So yes, Nora, it you. did. It absolutely flew. It yeah. flew by. And into the uh, heart of the forest. Right. Yeah, user right there as well. Yeah. Just imagine the tip now. The first two inches are there. All you want is the tip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see, towards the very the end of the board. video. And which end of the hammer am I going to use? You're going to be using the flat spot, and you're going to be using that zone. When we're at the vice, the, yeah, the camera so positions are not first. ideal. Yes. Try and get it squared right. off first, yeah. and then we'll get it back into the Yeah. Now you'll be using that part of the anvil there now, just as far as Hi, Teresina, yeah. So you've used all that part there now. So it was just such a day. fabulous day. Great, great, great day. You want to work on this part here. Great so day to be alive. Just like you are. Yeah. Okay. And I keep saying it, you'll hear me saying it lots. The patience of Tom wow. I feel, even was, just from watching Tom, was just, just brilliant. I have a little so bit of knowledge already about patient what colour the steel should be before I bring it to the anvil. And... I was able to tell that it's constantly yet, instructive that, and encouraging. Uh, here's where here's where the amateurs come out. I don't, I, I don't think I'm uh, I don't think I squared it off very well to be honest. Yeah, number one of forty. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wasn't confident that I was turning at 90 degrees each time. Yes, if Tom gives me the opportunity, absolutely I will, Jess, yeah. Okay. 100% right, Angel. But don't be afraid, you know, again, the rhythm there. Like, you'll see it happen. You're tapping right there. That's where you're doing it. Yeah. You need to see the confidence there. The left hand is going to go 90 degrees over and back, over and back. Yes, and solid. Right hand is yeah. Going you want to work it. You want to get that draw to tape. Watch the difference now with this one here. Brilliant yeah. stuff. Terracina. I have mine on the shelf there. Look at the difference. Look at the it, it, it feels different. It definitely feels different, Tom. That definitely felt better. Just wait over the next 10 or 15 minutes. How, mo how many times? I definitely felt like I, I had a better clue on it just from your little bit of instruction there. Yeah. How many times do you hear me saying, That's not bad? That's not bad. I always just give the angle of the white there to prepare. Always get you ready to find that. Yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't mean which end of the hammer, Brendan. I meant which side, because there's a flat side and there's a sort of a, a bevel, a rounded side. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean which end. <laughs> yeah, the sizes on my website are only, you can only give them in a whole number of inches. Oh, that is drawing um, to a much better taper than. And then I it converts it to centimeters. And it was, They're not uh, entirely. Uh, I'll tell you exactly now, Jules. Hang on for a second. You've, you've learned the lesson from the very first strike of the hammer to now the third time of asking. Look at the confidence now for this time here. Rather than just striking it for the strike of striking, you know, let's give it some intentions and reading them. So you're saying, right, we're drawing to taper. Here's how much taper we've drawn. Now let's give it the finesse. It is two and a half inches, six and a half centimeters, centimeters is what it is. Hope that helps. Two and a half inches, approximately six and a half centimeters. So these are the ones that you order on the website. They're not the large ones. I think Tom may consider making the larger version uh, at some point. Very well looks done. a little bit misshapen. It's a, little bit, correct, it's a little bit bent at the top, That's but fine. it's definitely coming to taper. I did this. I did this once before with Tom uh, last year, yes. and let, I'll be honest, I, I didn't feel that I drew it out to any decent taper at all. I feel much better this time already. Yes, this is only my second time That's doing this. Exactly yes, That's the same with the conversation of the encouragement and just give them a little bit. The confidence grew by the minute. Uh, with with Tom, so I really didn't think I was going to be able to do it. To be honest, this is a huge improvement over the first time I was at his forge. Already in that space of a few minutes, not bad. It's not bad. You want to get the dumpy work done there where you've got the material moved. But what happens there is when you have it moved, so it's just tying that up properly. You want to have it looking good. You can get the material moved, but you want to have it looking good there. You don't want to have it stepping. Yeah. Yeah. Loving all the comments. It's been such yeah. a joy tonight yeah. Yeah. To, to, to interact and to see all, all the feedback. There now, the transition between there and there. And that, that makes a difference. Yeah. Watch that. Yeah. And then. Uh, there's Davo. I feel that I'd like Davo. to move it a bit more with yes. my left hand. That's not bad. That's not bad. There we go again. It's, a it's not bad. It's a effort last year. I can tell you that. Of course, the patience of the master teacher yeah. helps enormously, big time. That's the encouragement well, and the patience. Yeah. Certainly is a good teacher, Mariana. Marianne. So we're just going to finesse the uh, tapering now. Thanks, right? Anne. Anne McCallum. Yes, I want to have it looking good. Now. Yes. You see, you can feel what force you need to create a nice tapered tip. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I have to say, it's not bad. I, I'm, I, I'm super impressed. I've been able to do that. Yes, that's fantastic. Uh, and again, all courtesy to the well, master. Courtesy to you. Courtesy and, and courtesy. Like, <laughs> Why do you get mastered up, you know, well, say, well, Angel, I wear my swan every day. Yeah. I never go anywhere without it. That's, 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 the, that's the one Tom made for me. That's, that's, is the point is okay now, is it? It's, it's, it's more the body I have to work on, is it? Really? Yeah. 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 If, Corey, if you contact Tom and um, 
The best way to contact him is yeah, on come on Instagram. Up there now. Oh, it's uh, Tom King 001. Happened the yeah, I made there. a mess there. Did you see that? Yeah. I flattened out the tip. So uh, he's on Instagram as That's Tom King 001. And maybe we'll share his email address uh, on the Facebook page later. Yeah. I wasn't rolling it enough. Yeah. You can see there immediately the improvement and Tom constantly encouraging and constantly instructing. Very, very comforting to know that it's not bad, is it? Very not bad. Not bad, Murphy. Now, the next one is the big challenge now. You have created the claw the table. That's fine. We now want to start a scroll. We're going to use that part of the anvil there. Now you're not forging, you're just I'm just gonna tap it over very slightly. Just, just to start. Yes. Solve. Wait till just you wait. see the end there result and then make a judgment. <laughs> yeah. Push that out there again. Go ahead. Lift it up there. Yeah, roll that back in itself there now. Oh, back in the fire. Let's get it hot. Back in the fire. See, it's taken me more a lot three or four times the number of heats to do that. So far, so good. So far, so than good. Tom would I'm just require. For the moment, for I could be screwed up. Of course, because it's thinner at the top, it doesn't need as much time in the fire. Is that right? And again, the same happy thing. Happy to be just or? doing it, Nora. It's it such down. a pleasurable experience. In good company as well. Hey, Rowan. So far, so good. That's really, uh, well, look at that. That's not bad. We'll work with that now rather than try and get that inside it because I don't think it's a good player to try and give you that chance. Yeah, no, no. We've got a really good bill there now, so we're going to fill them up now. <laughs> we're just checking the time because there's 20 minutes on the camera for each. Yeah, that's that, why I'm looking at the, the clock. main camera would only allow 20 minutes of recording minutes, so and then it would stop. So. We, we can only Again, record a maximum of over, 20 minutes at a time. Now. Oh, this way yes. again. Yeah. Now turn it over, over like it. Yes. Now, again, visualize your mind. Salaf, oh, I'll take you up on that. Very good. Back in the I would love to try that. So it's a combination of downward strokes and then back. Send me an email. You'll organize something. No, Teresina, we weren't because yeah. it was actually a cold day. And I actually found the fur. Yes. Again, yeah. The fur was uh, keeping my shoulders and my back warm and the fire. It was just nice, actually. Straight down. Thanks, but James. A really good start there. Yeah, it starts bad. to go I wrong, really but not no, I won't spoil it. It all looks good so far. <laughs> and so I'm just doing the, the <laughs> strokes, Mickey. the 11 o'clock strokes now. Right. I might. This is the now. Once you get this thing of over the, over the hump, the scroll will form itself. Would you, if you get over this now, this will be a big milestone. Is that okay? That looks good, actually, yeah. So just, just nice, gentle. Gentle taps. Every hammer stroke has an extra width, yeah. Now come back. Yeah. You know what you can do there is just to have a look now. I think and they're sheepskin, yeah. Up. You've got a little tap, little tap, little tap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. That's, you're not going to get any better than that. Back to the fire now. We want yep. to get all that now hot there, right? All along here hot, right? That's okay. where we want to go. So now. we're pushing it a little At bit. At this point, Tom will be yes. finished his. And I, I'm just starting. The master. <laughs> if he can teach me to do this, and I can make a half decent job of this on only my second attempt, yeah. he can ah, teach no. anyone. anyone can do it. It, it, it definitely helps. Patience and encouragement. Yes. Huge part of it. Right. I think it's just ordinary cold, Joan. Tom might comment on that himself. Yeah. 
you know it's not your left hand is bashing the hammer now, you see. Yeah, you I did notice that, actually. Time will tell, Elaine. The hammer the left hand is moving. Yeah. So on this one here, have a strong left hand if you can. Rigid, no moving. So when you give the Brilliant. hammer a strike, you get the benefit of it and the same shape coming yeah. because the steel is the sacrifice. Good stuff, Sam. Um, at the minute, your left hand is all over. You're not getting the benefit of your taps. Correct. You don't overhit it there because then you're afraid you fire it. He's a lot stronger than me, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. He's got bigger hands. <laughs> well, that's a good fire, yep. Yeah. Strong left hand. See the difference. Come in or two, go over. Yep. There you go there. Let's go back up there now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back now here. No, 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 come in at 12 o'clock. Yeah, roll that up there. Yeah. Perfect. Sit. Back in the fire. Back. See what the guiding hand has done. Yes. Yes. That's, uh, yes. But you can see what you want to do now uh, regarding now, uh, just to get that, make that tight. Good stuff, The Davo. guiding hand was very helpful there because yeah. I, I literally wouldn't have, you know. The left hand is critical. Yeah, there's so much movement yeah. involved. Yeah, you, you see, know? the sacrificial hand is not the left hand, it's the piece you're working on. And however hard you can get that steel, that's what will move. Anything else won't move, it's not, it's not hot enough, yeah. it's too strong. So but where you have that now in the fire, that's where you can go now. One second. There it is. Just tap that there and close that there, yeah. Well done. Now it's time to roll it. Again, visualize if you're making a Swiss roll in the kitchen, on the table, you want it to You've got the concept, you've got the feel of the game now, you know what you want to do. Use the edge of the angle there, you can turn it exactly. You utilize the angle there. I'm not flattening it out. That's fine. Just again, just to show the... Uh, oh so look, Tom gives there. me help here. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for, you thank know. You, thank you for your help. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just... No, that's fine, but that's, that's, no, that's it. You see, I do it without using your fire. Oh, just thanks, Angel. That's so look, you can tell I enjoy every moment of it. It's just brilliant. Valerie, I did ask Tom that question a little while back, and he was explaining about uh, it's to do with the milling process. So, um, the video, the clean video without my commentary and the comments will be available on YouTube afterwards. Um, so if you go back a little bit, you'll you, you'll hear what he says about that. Oh well, yeah, yeah, I see what's happening. No, 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 no this yeah, way again. Yeah, strong left hand. Yeah, see the difference there. Yeah. We're in control. You see what you're doing? Perfect. Tom says I'm in control. <laughs> At that moment, it didn't feel well, like it. Your 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 helping hand is definitely. It was bending. The steel was bending in the wrong place. I think it would be a little bit looser and rougher oh, right, if I wasn't getting that little no, bit of help. So I hope uh, everybody enjoys this. Uh, Brilliant, to Valerie. As much as I am enjoying the experience of, I'm working it. I and I never thought I'd see the day I'd be. I'd be smithing, you know. Yeah. Now you want the heat now. Yeah. You want the heat there Correct. now. Be the straight part. Correct. Yeah. If that scroll glows, it's no good to you. The book's already done there. Yeah. So now you're concentrating on where you're putting it in the fire. You now know where it is. I, I might be able to hang on solve afterwards for a few minutes um it's just the fact that this is a almost three hour live stream it'll be 11 o'clock before it's finished but if there's questions or comments i'll hang around definitely for a few minutes at the end i definitely feel that i have uh I definitely feel I've gained confidence just in the few minutes we've been working. Okay, no, Marianne, we were just wearing costume just to make, to give it a sense of occasion and a bit of fun. Correct, Anne McCallum, correct. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't we just drama a wee glass of wine. That's looking great. Wow. It's not bad. 
There we go again. Who's got the third? Yeah, I was impressed too, Mar Mariana. Absolutely. Glad you're having fun, Joan. The crack is brilliant. The comments have been great, crack. Oh, it's warm, all right. Like if you get close enough, the heat is serious. Yes, Davog takes responsibility for the furs. They were his idea when he visited Tom's Forge. Thanks for the inspiration, Davog. It was brilliant. Strong left hand over here. Really strong left. Of course, Tom did the right thing. When he was scrolling, he turned it at right angles to the camera. You think I'd be conscious of where the camera is? Look where it's bending in the wrong place. <laughs> it's, not, it's not supposed to bend like that. Oh, no, that's okay. Right. The spiral is still good. Yeah. Reasonably tight. Wow. Yeah, it's completely bending mm. in the wrong place, man. Turn it right round. Just give that a bit of a hit there, mate. Oh, not too hard now. Oh, yeah, it's sorry. Easy going. Sure. Right there. Yeah, that's not out there now. Ah, you see, the master uh, at yeah, hand okay, just put yeah. me right. Exactly. We, we made a, a, a recovery for my uh, earlier errors. Yeah, yeah, no, it was top. bending in the wrong place. You never yeah, know, so I hammered it. it. Yeah. Hopefully. It's actually, do you know what? It's exhilarating. It is, of course. I'm creating something. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> I agree, it Brandon. It feels good. When you're well, that's it. As you say, fire always treats fire. They call the yeah. Mickey, I feel the ancestors around in everything that I do. And I always have done since I was a kid, believe it or not. Always felt that there was a, a presence there. Always. Well, I'm going to ask the inevitable question. Can I take this home? Of course you can. <laughs> I'll give it to the missus. 100% give it to right, my wife And she'll just go, that wasn't made by Tom. <laughs> That's it, you're dead right, it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, James, I just explained there, James yeah. Farrelly. Yeah, so a, a clean version of the video from oh, beginning to like end, the whole really conversation and the yeah. smithing is on like YouTube strong, separately really to this live strong, stream. Very, so yeah, you will be able to easy, absolutely. Not very easily. Definitely. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. That's yeah. coming on. You're, you're getting the feel of it because I know it's there that you have strength in your left hand. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going back I'm to Tom's to Forge. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Your left hand is working with Edina. You know, the two hands become so efficient. You don't even know what your left hand is doing, but you make the lead with the right. Yeah, your left hand is instinctively doing what it's doing. Yeah, you do this here without even thinking about it. Yeah, this is so exciting. It's so it's enjoyable. It's but again, with the master guidance, it's oh, I would be nothing uh, just. Oh, I'd be flapping about in the darkness here if it wasn't for if it wasn't for that. Of course, I'm holding it there, and I don't need to hold it, but that's just a, a sign, of, uh, if nothing else, of a, a, lack, a lack of confidence. You want to come over and crack that bend there? See you. You seem to be doing that now. And then just tighten it up here. Brilliant. Look at that. Fantastic. Go on, say it's not bad, Murphy. Go on. I apologize if I've missed comments. Oh, wow. I tried to share them all on the screen, but sometimes they're just flying up so fast that I'm not able to keep up. Yeah, I um, so I apologize for that. Okay, that's, uh, that's 
That's not the quote. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not bad, Murphy. <laughs> he's got the hammer. Look at that. That's not bad. That's, well That's not bad for a second time out. In my opinion, yeah. you might look at it and say that's terrible. <laughs> oh, we didn't restart really it. I sure can see off this one. Uh, that's we true. I'm. Oh, we're okay. Very good. Do you want to gain strong left hand now? That's the right hand to be the roller now. Brendan, all I can say on that front is watch this space. You just kind of do, don't you? You just realize when it's just lost yes. the heat that you need to stop it. Yes. Now I know this has taken a lot more heat no, 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 than you would, but uh, that's Casted into the fire, he still do her. Thanks, Ty. <laughs> so the whole thing is become united. Yeah. You're not isolated. And that makes this uh, very productive because now you say, well, that's the first one. Here's the 20th. Look the difference. Correct. But yeah. if you want to be really strict and say, right, uh, Peter, not a drop. Just excited. Yeah. That's the whole idea of the land. And of course, it's cost Ooh. as well because when you're running a force, you pay for coal and yeah. electricity right. and everything else. Yeah. Jules. You know, time is money, as they say. I built a snow grange in 2018 during the beast from the east snowstorm in the garden. I have pictures of it, must share those. Yes, this is a place. It's not that. I am so, oh. so delighted. Yes. I hope you can de detect the, the excitement here because I am genuinely very oh, excited. Very, very, very. I'm, I'm really, it's suddenly gone from being a mysterious, almost stressful experience, which it was the first time I was here, <laughs> to um, you, you kind of see that you're creating something and it's exhilarating. Yes. There's an exhilaration to it, you know? Oh, that's the heat's a bit far up the scroll, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It was just in the wrong place. It was too far up the bar. It wasn't close enough to the scroll. Yeah. 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 Which means you recognize the importance of a good fire and the placement of the work in that fire. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the land. No, not snow henge, Brendan. Snow grange. I made a new grange out of snow. I must uh, dig them out. Thanks, Paula. Not bad. <laughs> and McCallum. Were you in Ireland during the Beast from the East? Um, so I'm starting to feel the heat of it. Yes, but it's not the point where. It's not burning my hands just yet. <laughs> it's not uh, see, it's not trapping me past. <laughs> Excuse the turn of phrase. Yeah, I have to say, uh, Rowan, <laughs> that's my kind of pun. This is only the second time I've ever ever done this, and of course, at all times, having the master close at hand. So you find the bigger it gets, the easier it is because you've got the whole body. Yeah. While it was small, it was quite quick. But look. Oh, wow! Great. Brilliant. I'd say that was some experience coming from Canada. <laughs> where it snows like for six months of the year <laughs> it is just trying to bend in the in wrong place, well, there you go next time you're drawing you and me will go for a, a cup of tea or a, something stronger <laughs> yeah 
Definitely felt that, Marianne, yeah. The yeah. Confidence There's was growing. Go that far, Jules. <laughs> You want to put that back in the board then because yeah straight away you can qualify and say look no not ready really. and you can use that get, get the focus and we give you a little head up because there's a point back behind it bring that yeah okay to the bathroom as well press it yeah take it all up see once you see the frames kind of becoming a bit static it means that the, the opening is kind of choked with that you need to get, get the focus and give it a little bit of room it's like a you know a, a fire in the kitchen even a little bit of a racket with the poker and you get more of the, of the fire. Yeah. It's a funny thing, I can oh, smell the I can smell the smoke off the uh, off the fur. Because the smoke from the fire was con there constantly. It's a lovely smell though. Again. Oh, oh. yeah. Yes, Catherine. Go ahead, go ahead in the fire. Absolutely. Just, yeah, go ahead. That's okay. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Take a handle that. Ah, of course. Yes. Yes. Oh, I hate you. You haven't got the soft asbestos, the soft <laughs> office worker hands that I have. <laughs> Office worker hands. <laughs> oh, that's nice and cool now. Thanks for that. Tom. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, Anne. That'll be a that will be a, a, a brilliant conversation. I know it. Yes, that's a good not Matthew on Bookle, uh, Joan. <laughs> I'll go a little bit yeah, more, but we're, I mean, I'm very happy. Now, it's not just entirely closed up the way no, yours are. No, no, that's fine. This space. No, that's fine. But, I mean, it's not There's an idea, far Lane. off no, where, it's not, it's, fine. it's not far off where I, I think it's pretty damn I'm good. Everybody yeah. still <laughs> hearing the sound? Thanks, Ronan. Thank you very much. Tom will greatly appreciate that. All the support. It'll be interesting to watch this back. And of course, oh, you'll be in the draw in for the Bridget's Cross. I started. The hell I looked at. I was absolutely exhilarated there. Thanks, Jules. Good to know. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Just, yeah, I think so. Don't worry, Tom won't have any competition, Brendan. Don't worry, Tom won't have any competition, Brendan. He is the master. I am the apprentice. It's just a bit of fun for me. You do it properly. No, no, I just show us how it's. Uh, I, I want to get to the. I want to get to the to the air opening there. You see it there now. Yeah. Just, now I'll come in with it. See, see how the flame now is. See that. See that channel of that tunnel. Yeah. I'm back in business now. now channel tunnel. Now because that's the point you don't want to overheat it. Oh yeah. Jules. The autocorrect is going mad tonight. I've just ugly a swan too. <laughs> uh, I presume you meant order. Brilliant stuff. Too much. Just tighten it up. Oh yeah, here. Here. Thanks, Olive. <laughs> If you get that now to that shape there now, I don't think it's really good. Yeah, well, uh, it's getting hot anyway, so it's getting, yeah, it's getting, getting to the point where uh, my little office hands won't be able to, won't be able to handle it. <laughs> you know what to say? It's too hot, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> it's too hot, get out of the porch. Yeah. Don't have as strong a grip on that as it would have liked but anyway. into the water he's telling me there's a cauldron of water there just to cool it down because the end of it was getting hot for me to handle of course tom wouldn't have had any problem handling it 
but it was just a little bit on the hard side. So happy that everybody seems to have enjoyed themselves. You're getting as much fun out of the watching it as as I, you know, got from partaking. Yeah, there's a wider hole in the middle of mine. But you know, again, just a difference in experience. I bet. What I'm doing now here is that's how I presented before. All I need to hear is to walk this. All that's done. That's done. But I want to give that a little bit of character, a little bit of shape here. So that's why I start off with. And I have the forms now that have a nice corridor of flame. I have an access point with these with the tongues now. So while that's getting hot, I don't have to look at it or stare because when I start staring, I get the impression of the fire and I can't see the angle in here yeah. now. Especially in the dark. Right, yeah. Yeah, because it's starting to get, get the light is just beginning yeah. to fade now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lexi. <laughs> Might be an idea there, Elaine. Maureen, the temperature of the fire, I think from memory, Tom said around 1600 to 1700 centigrade. I think that's what he said on Saturday. That's it, Dana. That's really well. I'll get a little bit more on the top of that screen. I'm happy to, Anne, and I'm delighted to support him. He deserves every success. A hurley. Interesting suggestion, Helena. Tom could make miniature Harleys. I'd like to have a little bit of slenderness at the top. Yes, you see, the, the, the anvil, believe it or not, acts as a heat sink. Of course, it yeah. absorbs it. Yeah. But I'm happy with that. Though. That's that's yeah. uh, that's ready now. Do you want to do the same with that now, Anthony, with yeah. yours? I'll leave yeah. that one there. Just careful yeah. enough to never fall. Again, I believe I'm capable of hands. There you go. You want it. You get that all hot there. Wait, well, you see me uh, trying to turn the, the thing too many, you know, you'll see rookie mistakes. Look at the hand in the pocket. How unprofessional. And look at me staring into the forge. Tom told me not to do that because you carry the impression of the fire to the anvil and you can't see what you're doing properly. It's like looking at a bright light at night, you know. <laughs> James, we'd start dancing yeah, to the sound of the hammer. Off the head of it. Yes. Okay, we're okay, are we? we got no. no, no, we're not. Excuse me. Very welcome, Maureen. Glad you're enjoying yourself. I still look very anxious there. Look, it's like at any moment I was expecting to make a screw up. Go watch now. Oh, Whoa, nearly lost it. Down, yeah. yes. I should have just turned it the other side. I didn't need to turn it the other way. See how quickly it's losing its heat. Yeah, I'm a little bit more awkward than you are. No, no, that's fine. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know it's what not bad. You do? trying to translate that doing into your hands, and your hands are just working with you now. It's going to take a few of them, aren't they? Well, you can't complain from an outdoor. There's a good force here. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it was just a little bit awkwardly positioned that time. Very glad to share us, Elaine. I'm very glad that people find it enjoyable and useful. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not nice, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tan from the forge. <laughs> what it looks like I'm doing is it looks like I'm creating a screwdriver. <laughs> I, I suppose this is the part where I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing, that's all. It looks okay, what I do is. KF, I agree. I absolutely oh, okay. agree so with you. I'm just that drawing front. it out at yeah. this end. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. By the way, this is just water. Yeah, we just had the safety goggles on, all right, Maureen, but not the gloves. The other side. This one. Yes, the other one. That's it. The other side. Yeah, that's it. The other side. The other side. The other side. Around ninety. Ninety. Yeah, that's it. So that's glad he's coming out of it. Yeah, I'll get back into the fire. Perhaps just not thin enough at the end. Nearly there. Yeah. Not with that overdone because then you're into a trickier situation if you overdone it. Yeah. You can't hear Tom so well here because we're using the microphone that you can see there. Uh, okay. on the little camera it's funny that's looking at the master's the, uh, at the apprentices <laughs> at the anvil and of well, course it's directional yeah. and because he's behind if it i can bring something so. home that resembles the swan's oh, you can still hear feel so but i think something 15, very major today, to be centigrade. quite apart from the fact that i've had loads of fun <laughs> loads of fun yeah that's true brendan or the typewriter in my case <laughs> Yeah, Maureen, it's a coal fire, is right. Yeah. Thanks for that poem, Davo. Brilliant. If you want to get the hammer, just to give that to the shoulder a little bit of a take there. Put that back down on the anvil. Get the hammer in right close there as you can. Oh, it is. Oh yeah, it is tricky. That's okay. That's okay. It has character. Yep. Right. It has character. Hey right, Teresa. Am I putting it in again? Yes. No, no, they won't do. They won't do. Yeah. So we're saying we're going to go to the vice, and this is where we bend the swan's beak and neck and make the shape of the swan's head. And uh, because the camera position isn't wonderful here, and it was getting dark, I'm establishing the swan anyway. beak, so to speak. It's the first part of the, the form. So I just get the needle nose pliers, and I turn it around, and that's it. That's the, just like that. Just like that. One Brilliant simple, idea, yeah, Kathleen. Like Back into the fire. Thanks, Robin. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, here's one Tom made earlier, properly made. <laughs> wow. Second best conductor of heat, Lexi. Is that after gold? Or is that after copper is a really good conductor of electricity? Yeah. Is it gold yeah. that's the, the best conductor, is it? Okay, back again. So what we're doing is we're establishing our swan. A good voice. It's strong. He's a brilliant teacher. Now you're twisting it the other way. Yes. So I have, I have established. Let's get my camera out at this stage to take some pictures. Absolutely, Maureen. You have to know your fire as well as your metal. 
Thanks, Tara. Glad you're having fun. Copper. Brilliant. Yeah, so there you have. Like all, all the swans have certain personalities as well regarding the, the bill and the neck, which I think is fine. I mean, well, because it's a, when you think about it, you know, you're just wanting to create. Uh, what do, you know, as I say, it's all done with the pliers and the vice. So that's the concept of the work, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what you're going to do now, Anthony. You're going to do the same thing. <laughs> Allegedly, that's what I'm going to do. Yes, and that's what a yeah. board yeah. 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 That's, the, that's the, the critical question, and you have thought about it before you even came to board. It's exactly the way to do it, because all of a sudden... Hope you can hear that. Move, ...and all of a sudden you'll suddenly realize, oh, it's the wrong direction. The feet is always going to go in the direction of the stroke. Yeah. So you're going to give that a little bit of help, and you're going to... So there's two the movements. There. You first have to like turn... Yeah, towards the spiral for the beak and put it back in the fire and then turn the opposite way for the neck. Yeah, and it'll be lovely for you to watch. You can watch the one with the comments and the commentary, but there's also, as I say, a clean version of the video uh, on YouTube, so you can watch it without any of the, my commentary or any of the comments, if you so wish. Yeah, so what left me with the fire and you're thinking about how long it will be in the fire. Just to get right, if, if, you're, if you're packed now clear, your voice is ready, you're ready to go again. You know? and you're all the time thinking about that, why that's in the fire. Yeah. That's your opportunity. You don't like to do it while it's still in your hand, and all of a sudden you have to make an adjustment. That could be good. It's always an air of caution, because you say you've thrown that to clear forever for slightly, so it's a smaller material at the end. Yeah. I can boil it quite quickly now, right? Oh, the tire rims, yeah. Tom is very good at reusing and recycling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I screwed up here, I'll be honest. And you can tell straight away. I, I, just overdone it. Yeah, but that's okay. Slightly. It's my first time. We'll go back in the fire again. <laughs> All we want to do is just the, the, the players just, literally just the there. Okay. Because you see, you see the distance between here and here. Yeah. If you do that any four, you'll all of a sudden have a big uh, sweep okay. of pain. Yeah, yeah. And you'll have a, I don't know what you call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. It's a different type of bird. <laughs> <laughs> <An emu. laughs> Thanks, Rowan. Tom will be delighted with that now. Uh, Angel, that I'm not sure of that question about the spiral on the chair. I'm not sure if that was a one-off or if that's something Tom plans to do. So maybe you might, uh, Tom, if you're watching, I think you are watching. Angel has a question there about the spiral that was on my chair. Maybe you could answer answer that for her. Long build pe pelican, says Jules. Here we go now. I got Tom to put it on the vice because I, no, just, I just wasn't confident. Tipped. Yeah. There we ever go. so say strong hands again, roll it ever so slightly. That's it, that's grand. 100%. Perfect. Well done. <laughs> Straighten up a little bit there now. Come in there. Give that a little oh, bit of a turn. Uh, yes. Give it yeah, a little bit of a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Pick it up. Right, right, right. Well done. Yeah. Right. 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 See, yeah, he's yeah, saying well done. It's like you couldn't do that without that level of encouragement. It helps so much. And of course, the cameras are very badly positioned right here because we're in the distance. You can't hear us. We're out of focus. Perfect time for me to comment on what's happened. We're nearly done anyway. And just hang on till the end. And uh, hang on just till the very end now. And Rowan is right. It, it cools so quickly. And that's 
It's about using the time efficiently, you know. Yeah, Tom, you do it because I can't. <laughs> ah, but here's the master now. No, I'm in there. Grab and turn. The other way. Clockwise, clockwise. Yes. Strong hands, strong hands, strong hands, strong hands. That's it. Well done. Look at that. Now you're smart. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the go. revelation. Oh, you know, the wow. Wow. Now, do you want, if you want to put that back in the fire to give that a little bit of tweaking? Because Maureen you wants to know what my, is it my next endeavor or Tom's? Not I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure what my next endeavor is, but <laughs> I just so tell you, I enjoyed this immensely. Just a little bit of the top, and you can tweak it. The concept works. It's exactly what I'd love to do a TV series meeting these kind of people, to be honest. I think I'm well cut out for it. I think TV is just, there's some very nice, or, you know, maybe Amazon or Netflix or one of those, not necessarily broadcast TV. But I think there's a very beautiful series of, I don't know if you call them documentaries to be made, you know, exactly like this. Except for I'd have a crew there who know what they're doing with the cameras and the sound. And I can concentrate then on everything else, you know. Man about the boy, Helena. Yeah, brilliant name for a series. You can see me there. The camera, uh, I think at that stage, had run out of memory card. It was a 64 gigabyte memory card, and that's just one camera. So editing the video uh, took okay. We're out of, uh, memory card. about right? six no, or seven no, hours. No, no. Rendering the video took four hours. And uploading the video to YouTube took about 35 minutes because the the outputted video was about four gigabytes, four and a half gigabytes, something like that. There was a part two remake series of Hands, if you recall the first part. Yeah, you want to just open the bill a little bit? Do you know what? I think that's fine. That's fine. That's not fine overdoing it, isn't it? No, well done. You know, Good job. No, right next. Well, while we have the heat in the body. Thanks, Teresina. Do you reckon I should pitch it to RTE or TG Car? I'd have to learn. I'd have to learn to speak Irish properly first. With TG Car. So I took photos here because we didn't have a camera. So Tom is basically coating the sp sp spiral pendant while it's still hot. He, he gave it a a rub with a wire brush. Was it linseed oil first, Tom, and then beeswax? You'll see the beeswax being put on now out of the out of the jar in a moment. Ron and Kelly, I'm very, very fond of his work. He's brilliant. That's interesting, Lexi. Yeah, craft in America, craft in Ireland. Very true, Lexi. He is a brilliant yeah. teacher. Brilliant. Yeah. And I'm doing all this in spare time for at the moment. Is it? Not for long, hopefully. Success, I can see myself traveling Ireland, traveling, exploring the monuments, the myths, the landscape, and meeting all these people for TV. So, at the beginning tonight, I held this up and I said, can I do the work of the master? This is my swan spiral, not, not Tom's. This is the actual finished piece. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. There's a few scrolling photos of it here now. Teresina wants to get me painting. I'll give it a try. I can't promise I'll be any good. Call to all Murphy groupies, says uh, Joan. Uh, Mariana said she feels like she was an observer in the forge today. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to give a sense 
of, you know, that you were there participating, you know. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so delighted that Tom stuck with me the whole way. I really didn't think I was going to be able to do it. And I think it's a creditable end result. I'm very, very happy. Very happy. And you need to watch the credits, please, because I want to say a special thanks to the Mythical Ireland patrons because they helped to make all of this happen. And uh, that's one thing you could do if you want to support the work of Mythical Ireland just to become a patron. The address is there constantly. I just, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. And to be honest, sharing it and seeing the lovely reaction tonight has been absolutely fabulous. So heartwarming. I really feel I'm helping somebody because he deserves every success, let's be honest. And at the same time, I feel as if this is entirely my vocation. This is what I was put here to do. And it just feels so wonderful. It really does. So uh, I'll just put that back on in the background. So I'll hang around for a couple of minutes. Um, actually, we can hide that. I'll hang around for a couple of minutes if there are questions or comments. Um, very glad, as I say, very, very heartened by the tremendous response tonight uh brilliant absolutely brilliant so um heartwarming and of course very very also very interesting that we're we're tying this whole thing in we're approaching in bulk you know time of growth a time of new light new hope you know really feel like we've the year has turned you know um and from my point of view, I've had a lot of interesting conversations with the likes of Eddie Lenehan and Moncon McGann and John Creedon and others. This has been by far the most enjoyable of the conversation episodes for me personally. And that's not lowering the standard of anyone else. I think the big thing about it was that I was there live with the person. All of the others were done on Zoom and you just don't have the same interaction, you know. And uh, thanks, Mariana. Tom will be absolutely thrilled with that. That's fantastic. And of course, that's the Mythical Ireland letter opener, inspired by the fact that I said something on a live stream one day about opening post. And Tom said, hmm, there's an idea. He's just brilliant when it comes to cre creativity. Don't want to knock it. When it comes to creativity, he, he's he, he's just fabulous. Thanks, Davo. Glad you enjoyed yourself. And uh, yeah, thanks for the costume ideas. <laughs> I feel rightly set up now. Going to bed with this on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right, Elaine. Tom is a wonderfully nice uh, fella. Just so easy to get on with. And uh, such a wonderful teacher. And so interested in the landscape you grew up in and in the stories associated with it and the monuments. So, so great. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you all for sticking around for three hours. It's, it's more than three hours since we went live first. Sorry about the fact that it got broken into two separate live streams. I don't know what happened. I can't explain it, but look, it, it, we improvised and I think it worked out well. Nikki wants to know if this will be a series. Well, um, I would love for it to be. Um, yes, let's let's put that out there. Let's put that out there. Absolutely. Love to do it properly. I don't mean this isn't proper. I mean, I'd love to do it with a TV crew or, you know, I'd love to have the proper... Uh, camera crew and sound crew with me and for me to just be able to entirely focus on everything else and not to have to focus on that but anyway and i think you're right sheila i think tom is as embedded in the culture yeah he is very passionate about it you can see that it has come across um in 
in spades today, absolutely in droves, you know. Uh, lovely to see all the comments. Fabulous. Tom is still watching. I know I'm not seeing Tom's comments here, but I know he's replying to you all because we've actually been in touch uh, in the background. And um, he, I know he's absolutely chuffed. He's uh, delighted. Um, hang on, I'll stop sharing that other screen because that may be hindering the uh, bandwidth. Yes, I'm sure I could, Lexi. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I do do tours. I do do tours. But, uh, I did until COVID struck, but um, they're starting to come back again. So look me up on the Mythical Ireland website, and uh, if anybody is interested, we can try and organize something. But I'd love to do a Mythical Ireland community get-together of some kind, and maybe that might involve visiting some monuments and visiting Tom's Forge, you know? I'm sure Tom is blushing, Salve. Um, he's, uh, I'm sure he's buzzing, as they say. I, I'm, he has to be asked. Yeah, Maureen is saying we can see his comments. I, I haven't seen a single comment from Tom. So I'm, I'm using a streaming app called Melon App. And it shows me the comments from Facebook and YouTube, which I can put on the screen, which I'm doing all night. I haven't seen one from Tom. I don't know what the story is with that. But I, I know he's there. I know he's there. Joan says she's in. Yay. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, we'll organize. And look, let's hope all the restrictions pretty much have ended here in Ireland. COVID numbers are still high, but let's keep the fingers crossed that maybe during the summer we can organize maybe more than one jaunt. I think somebody suggested we go and visit some whiskey distilleries, but um, we have to go and see the uh, the monuments and and the forge, of course, first. Great pleasure, uh, Valerie, and uh, thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, Davog is right. Tom will absolutely be on cloud nine tomorrow. Yeah, 100%. So, um, yeah, delighted now with that. Uh, just fabulous interaction. Great. I have had more fun tonight than I think I've had. I know we had a few great live streams for those great crack, but I, I think that tops them all. I, de I definitely do. You know? And uh, Elaine is going to be around in June. That's brilliant. Near, nearly at midsummer. Brilliant stuff. A couple of people have suggested we could watch mead, mead, mead being made or brewing. Good plan. Tom won't be sleeping tonight. He'll need a good stiff stout dram as he used. Tom is fond of that word stout. A stout effort. A good stout dram and he'll be grand. You know? Um, yeah. We'll try and put something together. That'll be fun. Great crack. Celtic crosses. Very good question. <laughs> Tom tends to sort of read comments and go, hmm, interesting. And then and then he'll say to himself, challenge accepted. Did you see the Bridget's Cross? It is sublime. It's a beautiful piece of work. And that dark sort of sort of almost glinting green. Brilliant. And uh, I'm very impressed with Tom that he's putting that up as a prize. So anybody who or makes orders through the website from now until the end of February is in in the free draw for the Bridget's Cross. Uh, brilliant. And as I say, second prize will be a copy of Mythical Ireland. But that's a, a high value item. I know he spent a huge amount of hours making that. Um, and uh, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just saying it because I know he mightn't. But I, I'm going to say it on his behalf that uh, I can see Tom being commissioned to make more of those crosses. Uh, so if you don't win it, uh, and maybe you really, really want to get your hands on one, consider commissioning Tom to make you one. Because, I mean, he's committed to this now. And he wants to make a living from it. And we, I think, would love to support him in every way possible to make that happen. You know? Brilliant, Salve. I look forward to it. And I, I'm going to hit uh, hit the road, as they say. I'm going to ring Tom and have a chat with him, see how he feels um don't forget as always if you have questions or comments send us an email mythicalireland at gmail.com 
Um, in relation to Tom's e uh, contact details, yeah, the, uh, he's on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, he's Tom King zero zero one, all one word. Uh, email. Um, I'm just double checking it here. Uh, the email address for Tom is ongova at gmail .com. That's a n g o b h a, all one word. Ongova or ongawa uh, at gmail .com. Uh, So send send Tom an email. Um, if you have questions or anything and uh, sleep well everybody have a great night I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed that I thoroughly enjoyed Saturday was a wonderful day I spent a long time putting the video together over the weekend but it was a, an enjoyable process it wasn't stressful I just enjoyed every moment of it and I'm delighted that despite the little technical hitch tonight that everything worked out uh, and don't forget if you go to the YouTube channel right now there is a totally clean version of the video available without any of the comments and without me and without, you know, any of the distractions and without the Patreon link at the bottom and the Mythical Ireland logo at the top and everything else. So if, if you want to rewatch it, it's there now. Uh, and uh, feel free to go over to youtube.com forward slash Mythical Ireland. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for, for watching and for interacting and for all your comments. It's been a fabulous night. I wish you all the very best. We'll see you for the second part of Bay Kuva of the White Skin uh, soon. Uh, maybe next Monday, maybe sooner. I'm not sure. But uh, keep an eye out for that. That's the next episode of the regular series of Live Irish Mits. Live Irish Mits in conversation will return. Not sure who with just yet, but have camera, will travel. Feel free to suggest guests. Take it easy, everybody. Ihoa Kolosov, Slongafol, and most importantly, Togabugay. I'm Anthony Murphy of Mythical Ireland. Tonight, we have had the pleasure of the company of Ongawa Tom King in his forge in the heart of the Boyne Valley. What a wonderful experience that has been. Don't forget, if you want to order something, mythicalireland.com, gallery and shop, Ongawa Creations. If you order anything, made by tom from the mythical learner website between now and the 28th of february the last day of february your name will automatically go into a free draw for that wonderful bridget's cross second prize a copy of mythical ireland so i hope you're able to do that good night